Hi everyone, it's Miss Longrage here. I just want to make a quick little video to help you start your first assignment that I posted on Google Classroom. Um, I've already had some questions from some students saying that they're a bit confused about how to start. So I want to make a little video that will help you um, understand um, how to begin the first part of this assignment. So the first example I'm going to do is about a baseball player. I'm a baseball player who's hitting a home run. So I want to show you a little video of what a home run is so that um, you can understand the question better. Okay, so as you can see, I've made my table of values vertical. It's the same as from the worksheet on Google Classroom, except for instead of going across, it's going down. Um, and then I've also just drawn um, a set of axes and made a graph on my paper. Please do not stress out at home. If you don't have graph paper, it's okay. I don't have graph paper either, and I can still do the question. So what I want to do is there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points that I need to plot on the graph that is going to represent um, the information from the table of values. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here I'm taking my, my lid off my Sharpie. Um, so if you play zero games, if you play zero games, according to the table, you'll hit zero home runs. That makes total sense. If you play two games, the baseball player will hit three home runs, somewhere between two and four. If you play six games, I'm at six, this baseball player hit five home runs. Um, if you play seven games, this baseball player hit nine home runs. Um, this baseball player, even after 10 games, had still only hit nine home runs. Um, that's why these are along the same line. Um, at 14 games, I'm at 14 games, the baseball player had hit 14 home runs. So I'm gonna see where that is. Okay, make my point. At 18 games, my baseball player had hit 22 home runs. This really is a good baseball player because most professional baseball players do not hit this many, How many home, runs? home runs. And after 21 games, this baseball player hit 25. Well, that is on steroids. That's so I have I have made my scatter plot. My scatter plot has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points because there are eight rows in my table of values. And that is what a scatter plot is. You can see that this does not make a linear graph. I could not use a ruler to go straight through all the points. And I can tell that because if I look at the table of values, it's not jumping the same. Here it's jumping nothing. Here is jumping three. It's not linear, um, and that's why my table of value, my graph, when I create it, is not a straight line. Um, but this is just the basics of making a scatter plot. So for your first question from the assignment, this is all you need to do. Just notice that the first um, column from the table of values goes on the bottom, and the second column from the table of values goes up and down. If you have any questions, send me an email, and I'd be happy to help you.